Roger, Angela, and we're sorry I didn't see you, Sean, when we are over, but uh, I think you'll be watching this. This is your old uh, hometown, Castle Blaney. I'm going out now to improve on this uh, six handicap that I have. <laughs> Angela, Angela, I'm afraid when you christened uh, the person, uh, the, what do you call it, the, the sick cat, was it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we made it all right. Thanks very much for the hospitality, Bordy, and we hope to see you in the new year. I have to leave the boys to it now because I'm, I'm supposed to be on at half two and it's now ten to three. So I'll probably get a Nathan when I go to the clubhouse. See you in the new year. Okay. Right. See you. Well, this is where we're, we're going. Right. Bye. I'm going to start a little sentimental journey here down in Buffalo Street. And I'm sure you remember many a time you stayed here. And you see things have changed a little bit. Not more traffic on the street now. Which does which uh, doesn't make things very easy when you're trying to do a sound recording. We're going to go on a little journey, we're going to go out to Derek Creek and we're going to take you around Castle Blaney. And perhaps reinvigorate some of the old memories that I have had. Angela, it's a long time since you were in Blaney and as you'll see there probably has been a lot of changes. This is where we were born and reared here in Muckner Street and if Sean hands slightly to his left, you can see the house beside you. That was where you had to already stayed for a while. That's not part of the factory complex. So we head off out towards the big bridge, as you used to call it. And we're going to head off out to Mount Vernon and out to have a look at how the house that Jack built looks now. It has now been recently resold and will be reoccupied very shortly. start our trip down memory lane here to the strains of Paddy Cole and his clarinet. As you can see we're heading off down Lakeview towards what used to be David Bide's house and we're heading out now towards Derek Creevy to have a look at how things are now and what changes have happened over the past few years.
Well, let's look at Mount Vernon, the house that Jack built many years ago. has recently been resold and is now being occupied by Carvels. So we continue our journey out towards the Keady Road and we'll have a closer look at how things are up around the old homestead.